Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use a switch button on Android Studio. We will be making an app similar to this one. Now let's create an empty activity. Let's name it uh, Switch Button Demo. Okay. Uh, let's select, make sure to select the, uh, the Java as language as I won't be teaching Kotlin. So let's click finish. Okay, let's wait for the this one to finish. Okay, so now let's head over to the activity underscore main that XML. But if you're not seeing this, you can um, select this folder rest under layout. You can see the activity underscore main that XML. All right. First off, I need to make the fonts bigger so you can easily see it uh, in this video. Okay, now the font is now bigger than uh, the normal size. So you can easily see it on, in this video. Now let's start doing the layout. So first off, uh, click this design tab here. Let's delete this hello world. And then there, uh, there are two ways you can add a switch button. Either click here and drag it. Uh, on this uh, white square or white rectangle or we can code it here all right so uh, why is this why doesn't this have a close tag you know what we can just drag this widget here and then let's switch back to text there we have it we now have the closing tag for this um, constraint layout. Now we have the switch control here, all right, inside the control layout. But as you can see, we have the red line because the constraint layout needs some sort of like rules to know where to put this switch uh, relative to this um, screen. So in order for us to fix it, let's drag this uh, circle here and drag it on the top edge of the screen same goes for the left and right we don't need to drag the bottom circle to the bottom edge of the screen uh, because we don't want it to stretch uh, vertically all right so now let's add some margin instead of typing margin top here we can move over to the design tab and then click the switch. Oops. Click the switch. And you, as you can see here, these are margin values. All right. So we can set uh, 200. Is it too much? Yeah, it's too much. About 100. Okay. And then for left and right, uh, we don't need to change that. Let's head over back to the text tab. And then let's make the width as zero dp so that it will stretch out depending on the left and right margin okay and then let's add padding left and right about 20 dp for the right let's add another 20 dp all right so it's not um it's not touching the edge it's uh it's somewhat more pleasing yeah okay so let's make the text bigger uh, maybe 20 sp okay and then change let's change the name to visibility all right uh, for the sake of this demo for this tutorial okay so uh the height of the this control is a bit uh, short so let's make it a bit taller about 30 dp nah about 50 dp okay that's more like it let's add a background color just to make it stand out uh some sort of light gray okay that's enough all right so uh we want our switch this one switch one you know what let's change the name first switch visibility okay Let's, uh, we want this switch to control an image view, 
All right. We want this um, switch to, um, for example, you turn this switch on. We want uh, a specific image to show up. And when it's off, uh, we want another image to uh, show up. Okay. But first, we need to add an image view. All right. Let's uh, put here 30 dp for both a width and height first, just so that we can drag the circles of it. Okay, so let's drag the right circle to the right side of the screen, left circle to the left side of the screen. Same goes for the bottom. bottom. And for the top circle, we need to drag, um, drag it and touch the bottom edge of the switch right we don't want it to touch the the upper or the top edge of the screen so it won't overlap the switch okay but as you can see it's not stretching out because we have this value 30 dp we have specified the exact value of this image view so what we need to do is make it zero so it will uh, stretch out the width and height depending on the on what edge it is um, sticking to all right so we now have the image view um, now we need to have an image to show all right so on the left side panel go ahead uh, and click the rest folder the drawable drawable folder and then right click a drawable <laughs> drawable folder uh, new and then vector asset okay and then let's click clip art let's type in visibility okay let's select visibility up off and then okay just hit next and then finish we now have the off uh, visibility let's add another ver vector asset and this time we need the visibility vector or the art. So next, finish. Now we, we now have both the off and on um, image for the visibility uh, function. So our default image would be the off one. Okay, so SRC and then uh, look for IC, uh -huh, IC underscore visibility off. This one, there we have it. And then just to make sure that our um, image won't stretch out or won't distort, let's add scale type and select fit center. Okay, so now we have the image, we now have the switch. We need to add a name for our image view so that we can um, address it and change the image accord uh, depending on the switch button depending if it's on or off so to make it simple let's just name it as image okay so i think that's it for our layout let's head over to our class our main activity the java first off we need um to reference those two controls the image view and the switch so first off let's uh, get the image so find view by id r dot id dot what's our name it's image for our switch uh, switch let's name it switch visibility okay this name doesn't need to be exactly as what's in the xml file okay uh, just, uh, I, I just use the exact name so that it's, you know, it's easier to remember. R.ID. Uh, switch. Oh, come on. Switch visibility. All right. So we now have uh, both the references for image and the switch visibility. What we need next would be um, uh, know when the switch has been uh, modified or has been or the value has been changed okay so we uh the switch button has a function called called set on check change listener so 
um, this function is used so that um, you can give or you can provide uh, a method where it can uh, where the operating system or your uh, the program will call whenever the switch value has been changed all right so new on check change listener just uh, this one just this one this one just uh, press enter to complete it and there we have it so this function gets called whenever this switch button um, value um, uh, changes all right um, so now here on our on this method there's a parameter here a local parameter called is checked and it is uh, boolean so it's either true or false this is true obviously if it's checked or if it, if the switch button is on so if is checked inside this um, curly brackets we want we want the image to show the the i the i art without the uh, you know the cross line sort of like that okay and then else if it's not checked okay so here let's change the value of the image image that set image drawable and then get drawable r that id what's the name of our uh, art for the i that doesn't have the cross line it's i c i okay uh, my mistake it's r dot drawable instead of id that i c visibility black all right this one has the cross line okay visibility black and then same goes for the else let's copy and paste this to make it simple but let's change the drawable the image to of black okay as you can see on our variable image there's a red line it says variable image is accessed from within inner class needs to be declared final so we need this variable to be declared as final so just add the word final before the image view and we are all set okay now let's try our app if it works and there we have it uh, our visibility switch button uh, it's off we have the i with the cross line if it's on the i without the cross line or the visibility black is shown if it's off the visibility of black is shown and that's it for this video i hope you learned something from this and if you did hit the like button and consider subscribing